Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry, this is Miko from Q3 of the Weekly Contest 323, Design Memory Allocator. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about today's problem. So this one, um, really, the, the, the tricky part about this one is just really looking at the constraints. So there are going to be a thousand cores, and N can be at most a thousand. So that, to me, means that you can brute force because each one, if you do a for loop and making sure that there's only a thousand operations, it's going to be a thousand square, and that should be good enough. Which makes this a little bit of a weird problem because it's just bookkeeping from then on. Um, I'm going over my code. I mean, I feel really b a little bit sloppy that it took me 10 minutes because I did misread this problem. I thought that each MID is unique, but after rereading it, I was like, oh, it can be in different blocks and stuff like that. Um, and I just missed it the first time around. So um, if you watch the live portion of it where I solved it during the contest, you see me like jiggle around some stuff. But but really, I just, for, you know, I, I keep an array of memory of things to be that are used. I keep a list of things that um, that are mapping to an MID, um, an ID, and then that's pretty much it, the memory ID. So then the count, um, and... I, so the only tricky thing to do is to see what the smallest number is in in linear in the size of the memory, which is with a sliding window. So that part is could be a little bit tricky, um, but but it is something that um, comes up a lot in lead code. So definitely, if that's the part that you struggle with, um, you know, make sure that you you well familiarize yourself with. It. And the idea is that okay, you have a sliding window. You go okay, is the you know within this block how many free space do we have, right? Or how many use space, They're, you know, in order of each other. And then you move to the right, from left to right, one at a time to, to kind of see what's the first case where that is true. So that's basically the idea. So here, if, if it's used, then I do count you goes, uh, I increment. If we free up on the left as we move from left to right, then I, I subtract the count. And here, if we have enough free space, then we just add it to the list. Um, I had... When I was writing the code, I had some off by ones issue a lot. Uh, I, I was, I think I was, eh, I don't know. I mean, TLDR, a lot of off by one issues. Really sloppy these days with the off by ones and self thinking. Um, and if you see yourself having a lot of off by ones, it's, it's because you didn't really understand the problem enough. Um, or you didn't, I, well, either the problem or your solution. Because sometimes, at least for me, when I'm sloppy, I just kind of write things that feels right. But I didn't really think about it enough to know that it is right. And that's usually an issue as well. Um, but beyond that, that's pretty much it. Um, I, I, I put it into the thing so that we can free it later. We set the array to be true. Um, again, you know, this can be a thousand and that could be only a thousand, so it should be good. And then we return the beginning, otherwise we turn negative one. And when we free, we just, you know, go through the entire thing and then free everything and count the number of things that we freed. So that's pretty much it. Um, everything is linear. I mean, this is just linear twice. And this is linear because um, because you can allocate more than a thousand memory, right? So, or like you can allocate more memory here than the size of the array, the memory. So this is going to be linear for that reason um, in, in the size of the memory. That's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. Um, yeah, and you can watch me stop a live in contest next. Hmm. What is going on? Arcade free memory of the given ID. So, what are we trying to do here? Is a thousand. So if okay, is it just ideas? Okay. Oh, my D is unique. Mm. 
memory array of size n or something like that. I don't know, this is quite right. This is not quite one, maybe. the size whoops Oh, different box. Whoops. Okay, I misread some parts of this, but we have to figure it out. Okay, fine. Actually, misread this. 
This is way easier to make a mistake on. I don't even know. I changed too many things. Whoops, because that's not true anymore. Um. What is going on? Where am I returning things? Here. Here. Oh, because now it. Uh, Come on, Abby. I don't know. This is why. How can I even tell? It seems like I'm off by one, though. Compared to this. Mm, off by two, even, maybe. Hmm. See this. No. Would be one, two, two. Okay, so yeah. Um. Two zero five. Hmm. Almost something up. One size. What? Why did I mess up size? Then size is one, right? And then right is two. Two minus one plus one. Did I mess that up? Two and one, right? So you wanted to start at two. No, that's right. It's just that the math is wrong, I guess. Right. Uh, you want to start at one. Okay, yeah. This is slightly better, but still wrong, I believe. So it should be at zero. Why? Oh. Uh, okay, I mean, that's. I need to fix that anyway, but basically, okay, so it goes from zero. Da -da 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 -da. I have think I had the signs, but just the wrong direction. Is this right? Mm, looks okay. So let's give it a spin. Is it good? I don't know. But it was scary, to be honest. May even time out, but it's just a thousand at most. So it should be okay, but I'm not quite sure on that one. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Hit the like button, sub hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord, hit the bell, and um, yeah, stay good, stay healthy, to good mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye-bye.